To make more of an advanced mask where you're adding modeling clay on top, you're gonna need a face mask. Then you'll need the modeling clay. You will also need the glue for paper mache and then our paper. So the recycled will be the first four layers and then a white will be the last if you are painting it. The first thing is what you're gonna do is put the modeling clay on your mask however your design is. So it doesn't have to be like the spirited man. It can be whatever you decide. Um, you don't wanna use like obviously a ton, a ton of modeling clay and you wanna make sure your details are pretty big. So anything like bigger than your thumb, if you're starting adding like tiny little dots on your face, they're not gonna show up. So make sure they're nice big features that you're adding and have it look a little bit different on your mask. So now we need four layers of paper mache. Um, the most important thing is to get it around the sides because that's where you hold your mask. Um, and then another thing that's going to be important is to smooth down. So especially since we added all these little details, um, we have to make sure we are smoothing our paper down. Otherwise, it's not going to look like we've added them. So. With your finger, make sure you are like smoothing where the eyebrow is. And um, sometimes it's easier if you just do smaller pieces of paper, because I think it just moves more or gets less wrinkles. So if you need to tear your paper to have it be smaller, make sure you do that. But make sure you are smoothing it down. That's gonna be super important. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like blobs on your face because we've added the clay and then if you're just kind of sloppily putting paper on top it's not going to show these little extra clay that we added it's just going to look like a blob so i'm going to be adding four layers of the recycled and then i'm going to do a last layer of white that way i can easily paint with my white All right, the last thing you're gonna do before you let it dry is you're gonna make sure you smooth everything out. Um, I'm gonna just take kind of my finger and press kind of hard by whatever features I added to create like a nice line to make it stand out more because when we add the paper, it kind of um, smooths it out and makes it kind of like blend together. But if you want it to stand out more, you're gonna have to kind of press hard in the shape of it. So I definitely want these features to stand out because otherwise it was a waste of what I added. So I'm going to be pressing it around like the mouth, try and get a nice line where I added the beard. And then the underside, it doesn't matter too much. But I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I added the hair right now. You can't tell that there's like a solid difference. I'm going to be pressing hard to create that line. Okay. Then make sure any of the papers are all sticking down. And then we're ready to let this dry. Once it is completely dry, you can now take it off the plastic form. So it's kind of hard to do sometimes. So you take it and bend this backwards and then try and take this and kind of have to force and pop it out. Um, sometimes I work my way around just trying to unloosen it. And the modeling clay, I don't know, might make it. Ooh, there we go. And then you can just start peeling off your modeling clay. And then we'll put the modeling clay back in that blue bucket so other people can use it. And then we're ready to start painting. Before you start painting, I would trim off the excess paper on the side and then let me know if you would like your eyeballs cut out because I can do that for you too.
Okay, then you're ready to use the temper paint in the jars to paint your mask however you would like. Remember to take your time, make sure everything is smoothed out so it looks the best you can.